is civil service really civil or service? Today's Sunday, October 20th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $165. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and silver from friends of weusecoins.com and sonsoflibertymint.com. Learn about these beautiful fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. That's sons with a U. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. See them for yourself today. That's sons with a U, sonsoflibertymint.com. Roger Peon made headlines in August 2012 when he drove his tractor over six police cruisers and a van at the county sheriff's department in Derby, Vermont, causing about $300,000 in damage. Roger pled not guilty to the 13 criminal charges that stemmed from this action. In January, he was hospitalized and found incompetent to stand trial. Now a new psychiatrist has found him competent, and the case will move forward as normal. Lawyers in the case are expecting to select a jury in February. Stay tuned to Peace News Now for the latest on this living symbol of frustration with government. You've heard of civil forfeiture. It's when armed bureaucrats claim ownership over something. Through the magic of government, your private property, your home, your car, your cash, even your cell phone, could all become the property of Uncle Sam. Critics of this approach say it gives ordinary folks extraordinary power, and that power may corrupt them to steal from others without consequence. Most people cave when faced with civil forfeiture cases, and so they've continued for as long as there have been governments. But finally, along comes one group that's not going to put up with it, the Hell's Angels. Okay, so they're not the most sympathetic group, but they've got three clubhouses in Canada, and now because some government agents claim there's criminal activity happening there, now the government owns their clubhouses. Not so fast, say the bikers. They're taking the Mounties to court. They say civil forfeiture gives the government agents license to steal. For example, they arrested bikers and took their cash claiming connection to crime, but then released the bikers without charges and kept the money. Not pocket change, but tens of thousands of dollars. This raises serious ethical questions in the minds of many. But don't worry, the highest court of justice has decided that the government can sell anything it steals, whether the primary use of the property was unlawful or not. What do you think of civil forfeiture? Is there anything civil about it? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. This story is brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet app and get started using Bitcoin today at blockchain.info. Gary Fung ran isohunt.com, a search engine for BitTorrent files. Until this Friday, the site helped users find music, movies, software, ebooks, and porn. The site linked to over 13 million active BitTorrent files and had over 51 million users either uploading or downloading them. Alexa.com ranked it in the top 500 most trafficked websites in the world, and top 200 in Canada, where the company is based. Clearly, the world finds isohunt.com a valuable service that enriches lives. Why, then, has isohunt.com mysteriously closed its doors and agreed to pay over $100 million to the Motion Picture Association of America? Owner Gary Fung would tell you, but then he'd be thrown in prison. Unfortunately, thanks to the way governments handle dispute resolution, we can't know the details of this case. I guess you'll just have to accept that the government knows what's best for you and the 51 million other users who used the site. Will this mean the end of torrents? Have agents of the government successfully stopped people from copying and sharing files once and for all? No. We can be sad for Gary Fung, but not too sad. He made his money and chose not to fight the state. Others who are more courageous and more principled will take his place. As we've seen with the Silk Road copycats, these websites are hydras. Take one down, and many more will rise up in its place. What will be next for the world of torrents? Share your thoughts by tweeting us at Peace News Now. Peace News Now is on the Next News Network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to Donate.PeaceNewsNow.com. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way.
Thank you.